morning, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this YouTube video. Welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel for the newcomers. My name is Didi Taihutu, walking, talking about Bitcoin, blockchain and life. Today, you might think, where the is he? Is he in the middle of nothing, nowhere? No, I'm like on the Portugal coast in Albufeira. And Albufeira has a beautiful coastline. It looks completely like this, and you can see the white houses on top over there. And if you would climb up here, we would be in the middle of the center. But I'm going to show you how we get to the middle of the center, because first we need to walk this path back on the cliffs. And uh, while we do that, we talk a little bit about Bitcoin blockchain and live guys. Um, let's go. At the moment, I will give you an update on what is happening into our lives and everything and the Bitcoin family. Yes, I will do a live later today, but I uh, will update you now on my beliefs or my thoughts on um, what is going on. We at the moment are in Portugal, in Albufeira. We really like Portugal. It's a beautiful country. It has a lot to offer. Like you can see, it's amazing. But at the moment, Albufeira is uh, like sharpening the rules because of the flu. So at the moment they are closing down stores and restaurants in the weekends from 3.30. And then in the weeks, nothing is uh, different, but in the oh, okay, weekends, it's a little bit different. They need to close at 3.30, which is a little bit strange, of course. Morning, maybe they still think that the flu can read the time or something. Check that amazing water over here, guys. You can see the fishes over there, the small ones. So that is the only thing that we are walking into as a family. So we are thinking, what will we do? Will we stay? Will we extend? We were looking for renting a house for a year. We, we visited two houses, two beautiful houses, one with six bedrooms, one with five bedrooms. And both would be big enough for the whole family, but also to accommodate uh, friends and everything that and everybody is coming over. But they both want us to rent for one year minimum. And normally we would say maybe yeah we let's do it and then you know the months that we are not here and traveling we would uh, rent the house again but at the moment it doesn't feel safe like why would they lock down now already there is no cases here everybody is on the beach like you can see look it's just holiday season everybody is open the bars are open why should you close a bar after 3 30 like is the virus then stopping or starting at 3 30 it's like strange thought so we don't know it, uh, if we want to stay for a year or maybe we just extend month by month and again when you know the shit hits the fan we would um, be leaving sadly Portugal. i would love to create a european base here i also looked into land the beautiful land i found of 50,000 square meters with a license to build 25 houses one huge concrete one and 25 minimum of 25 bungalows which could be beautiful for blockchain village so there's a lot of things to do for me here in portugal um, but I need to create a base first and that's the thing we are doubting about do we want to create a base in a country that is now probably under the pressure of European Union closing down the bars and the restaurants and you know where might that lead might that lead to more closing down and all that stuff but then again we are going to talk positive stuff as well I'm going to walk you through here around the corner we are going to take the elevator an elevator from the beach to the old town walk around the old town and just show you a little bit about uh, albufera as you can see it's a beautiful bay guys beautiful bay beautiful clear water and our house at the moment is on there on that cliff the bluish house that you see over there that is where we are staying now, but we can only stay till the 8th of July, then we need to leave. Let's take a walk. Yes, it's also a very safe area for children, guys, because you can see safeguards all over the beach, all taking care of the people and the kids, which is perfect, of course. Um, it's a very, yeah, authentic town. It's a lot of tourism, yes, clubs and British people come here to drink and all that stuff. 
but still it has this authentic Portugal feeling except of that elevator that we are going to look into now <laughs> because the elevator will bring you like it's a modern elevator bringing you from the beach up to town I don't even know if we are allowed to take it maybe it's only for like disabled people but I'm going to take it for fun maybe I look disabled as well I don't know <laughs> and while we take the elevator guys we are going to uh, talk a little bit more upstairs about blockchain and life guys check this elevator an elevator yes how cool let's see if we can take that one I think we can only go to story one guys up to 1000 kilo I think it's still uh, and below 1000 kilo we can also take uh, the stairway of course the stairway to heaven but I just want to be in an elevator on a beach the sound might be really strange now look and there we go <laughs> look the elevator we are taking an elevator <laughs> most people are like Didi why are you so happy to take an elevator just I never took an elevator on the beach this is the first time first time in my life I took an elevator on a beach <laughs> how do you enjoy small things in life like this one taking an elevator on a beach check all locks Ah, that's a lot of locks. Let's take a look. And then we are on top, guys, of this beautiful bay, Albufera. And all the people here have a lot of locks, I think. Yeah, I saw this in Prague as well, in Czech Republic. So if you uh, are in love with your wife, you need to hang it up here in the Brinks lock. So maybe I should go here and hang some locks as well. Or maybe my daughter should. Beautiful place. Look, you have the restaurant on top over here. It's an amazing place. Small houses, big houses. And then you get into the town, guys. Then you get into Albufera town, the traditional town. Traditional houses combined with hotels, bars, pubs, restaurants, whatever you need to have a beautiful tourist holiday. I prefer these kind of houses here, the blue ones. And of course, guys, there's also a normal, beautiful, traditional way to get to the beach. Look, that's of course just a walkway path. So where were we? We were at the place that, uh, you know, we need to decide if we stay in Portugal. So we are thinking of renting a house for long term. We have been visiting two houses. We want to stay maybe for a year. We're then off and on traveling to Asia, to South America, a few months, but have this base where the kids have their room, where the music, uh, the guitars and everything have their place, the piano can play, you know, all that stuff. What uh, kids long to when they are 16, 14 years old. But still, they also told us, yeah, Dad, it's nice to stay here, but we also still want to travel. So our kids is like a, a beautiful, well, let's walk that way. It's like a beautiful, combination of our normal kids that want to stay at a beautiful place but also still want to travel they don't want to give up the travel life not completely but they do want social contacts with uh, you know with other children so that is exactly what we are creating at the moment an environment where we have uh, a little bit more social contacts with the kids that way that's also why we flew over Lois a friend of Julie you know that Julie had again that social contact and you know to show Julie we do everything to give you a social context. They are having a lot of fun here in Albufera. My daughter is 16, Lois is 16, and they're even taking Juna with them, which I really appreciate because normally two 16 years old, they don't really like to have a 14 year old around him, but they do. And they go to bars in the evening and they have their pop sodas, but also some, I think, cocktails now and then. And you know, they just have fun. They socialize, they met, they met a whole group of uh, Portuguese children and they are uh, you know, hanging out with those Portuguese kids also some Dutch kids here in Albuvera so that was a good choice to stay here now for some time that the kids have that social contact do we want to extend it? that's the big question let me know down below in the comments what you think, what you would should do would do, should do, would do, would do <laughs> so the other thing I want to talk to you guys about is that uh, blockchain village that I'm looking for land I, I found land uh, now it's all about am I going to you know start to promote that land because we want to tokenize it I'm going to walk that way there's an old church and um, you know that it's going to be a community driven um, village that's why it's called blockchain village it's going to be part of house of Dao house of Dao is the one that is also opening in uh, uh, Thailand 
and of course we are playing Valley have we have in Bulgaria but you know we need to start something here in Europe as well and that is a blockchain village and that's the one I went to look land for in the like two days ago I think so let me know down below this if you also are excited about blockchain village if you want to be part of, of, uh, of blockchain village maybe I even need to open a telegram group so that you can see exactly what we are doing at the moment it's going to be huge that's the only thing I can say and now we are going to walk into this beautiful traditional park. Check this. But Didi, what are you talking about? That's all the blah, 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 blah. What I'm talking about is that sometimes in life you need to make choices. And this time again, we need to make a choice as a family. We chose to leave Mexico to Europe and now you are in Europe and now you need to make choices again. Do you want to stay here? Do you want to take the risk to be in a <laughs> lockdown? No coincidence, a lockdown. <laughs> or do you want to stay free and flexible to be able to move everywhere you want in the next couple of months when you know that they are going to tighten the rules again of all that regulations to take away your freedom? And that is exactly what we as a family don't want to give up, our freedom. We want to stay free. And how can you stay free? Oh my God, this is beautiful over here. Check this one. Check. Here we have an overview on the old town, the roofs. So how do you continue the lifestyle without giving up your freedom? Now, now we run into this uh, problem uh, of finding a house. But then again, if you rent a house for a month, it's almost as expensive as renting a house for a year nowadays here in Portugal. So this search for freedom that we have been on from as a family, you know, that not really a search that 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 we experienced that freedom in the last couple of years, that's an amazing feeling, and we don't want to give up that feeling. I think nobody should be giving up that feeling, and that is why we are hesitate in renting something long term, because what if something happens here? We would love to go again, but on the other hand, we have this, you know, this search for socialized context and because the whole world doesn't stop and nobody's traveling the only way to get those social contacts um, you know is by finding this base where they can start to mingle with other people so it's a very double situation but you know we can handle it that's the beautiful adventure adventurous part of the living you run into problems you haven't experienced before and then you just solve that problem. I need to go quick, I need to make a picture over there. So, I need to wait, it's very tight over here. Look, perfect. So, and then you solve those problems. You, lo you walk into any other stuff as well if you have a normal life, and then you just solve that stuff. And that is what we do as well during the traveling life. We will solve this and we will find a solution that is best for all five of us. And maybe even we rent something and we still start to travel but then again, you have this base that you can always return back to. We had a beautiful lunch yesterday with some all-time friends from here, also crypto people. And they all are building their base here because Portugal is a beautiful country to have a base uh, tax-wise, but also life-wise. And they are still not that regulated, so they still kind of do what they want. So that's a beautiful part of it. And most of them, they took a base and for to create that base that um, you want to have in Portugal, you need to have an address. You need to be registered here so you need to have a rental agreement for at least a year so you can enjoy all these beautiful small streets every day again and when you have that rental agreement then you can get this tax number and a bank account if you want a bank account i don't want it but i heard you need it to even have a rental agreement and you know and then you have this base tax wise that you can use to travel the rest of your life but still you know be not accountable for strange thing because you have a base where you do pay taxes and Portugal has a 0% tax on Bitcoin which is of course a beautiful base for me I'm looking around because it's a beautiful streets here these small ones and um, yeah that was a short update guys I hope you really enjoyed this short video and um, I will do these updates I know there is not always information in the updates but I just want to talk with you what is on my mind what we are handling as a family so you are completely up to date on her uh, 
how our life is like evolving, what we are experiencing every day. Because a lot of people tell me, Didi, tell me more, tell me more. We want to know more. We want to know everything. So that is why I do these updates without information sometimes. No, no technical information or whatever, but it's just a walk and talk about Bitcoin blockchain in life. But if you did enjoy that, then give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends and family, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell and leave a comment. Before, leave a comment about this one here. Look. Art. Would you want to live here? Leave a comment. Down below the video always. Thanks for watching and see you tomorrow again in another TA video in the morning and a family video in the afternoon. Thanks for watching and see you later. Bam.